everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another get it all done video in today's video it is sunday so i am just doing all of the sunday stuff that i normally do i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the upstairs empty out our trashes just give everything a quick little wipe down and get ready for the week ahead i have a delicious hello fresh meal that i'll be making in today's video um lots of laundry the laundry is just like out of control um the kids have started back at school and we have soccer and dance so like life is really starting to happen this week coming up so i feel like i have a lot to prepare for so besides like cleaning and cooking that kind of thing we're also going to go and buy some cleats you know i always say here's what's going to happen in the video and something can something completely different can happen or we can do all of that and then some but i don't know let's get into this and see where today it takes us like i said i'm going to start off with um just going to go ahead and like vacuum everything and wipe things down fold a lot of laundry and switch different loads it's just beyond right now um and yeah let's get started real quick one more thing that i forgot to mention um is that chris and i start our eight week I guess it's called a fitness challenge, our eight week challenge starting tomorrow. So I gotta uh, go ahead and order some groceries for that. It's mostly just like protein and vegetables um, and some fats. So uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's called E2M. This is my first round doing it, so I can't really tell you much about it. My friends did it and they had great luck with it. If you, any of you here have done it, let me know down in the comments below. Um, but I've heard that it can help with your thyroid, so I just wanted to give it a shot. Plus I'm just ready to get, um, my body back after having babies. I want to be strong and I want to show my kids that I can do it. So anyway, that is our intro. Now let's get into actually doing the stuff. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Does it sound like fun? You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bars. So as I'm vacuuming my room, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do in here. And I'm still just like completely stuck. I've been loving, I've been seeing like a very dark accent wall behind the beds with like the same furniture that we have now, but I'm just too much of a chicken to do it. Also, Everly is still sleeping in our bed as he's in our bedroom. As you see, this is like a little alcove where we have all of her stuff. Um, she's still nursing two to three times a night at nine months. I know like a lot of times kids are sleep trained by this point, but she's still just nursing and I let her. Am I dying slightly? Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking into like just trying different methods to get her to sleep longer at night. Um, let me know what worked for you guys. I think that this is around the time that I started sleep training Ella and the boys. And it only took like two days to do it. And I did like a gentle method um, because I'm too much of a baby to just do the full-blown cried out method. But yeah. Um, so after we're done in my bedroom here, I'm just going to go over and do the boys' bedroom, which is another project on our list. We're wanting the the Batman beds in their bedroom seems like such an amazing idea and they loved it for the first few months but now there's like no space on their floor so they're wanting their bunk beds back. Originally we had looked at bunk beds that had a slide on them but the slide takes up half the room so again still kind of at square one. I wish I could just like hire an interior decorator but at the same time I don't like people telling me what to do so... <laughs> I'm just a mess. Hopefully it'll just come to me one day while I'm browsing Pinterest, but they do love their Batman beds, but they are wanting more space on the ground. And then this is just our guest room in here. Um, my mom lives an hour and a half away, so when she comes to visit, a lot of times she'll stay the night, but she's pretty much the only one who has used this bedroom. I think Chris's mom might have maybe once or twice, but yeah, this is our guest room, but she just lives a lot closer to us, so we see her a lot more than my mom just because my mom is so far away but we love seeing both of them and they wish we wish that they like lived next door to us that would be a dream come true but after we're done in here i'm gonna go ahead in to ella's room and i started to vacuum in there and then the vacuum died um, i thought i had it charging but my old dyson i still never bought it to get fixed it needs to get fixed uh, i think that might even be the newer model than the one that i'm using so i'm just gonna put robo rock down in um Ella's room after it dies and give you a little overview of each of the rooms and then I'm going to start some laundry in the guest room. 
um, just folding everything in the guest room because that's just been better. I can just go ahead and close the door if I'm not completely done. I don't have to worry about anybody messing with the piles of laundry besides the dogs. They like to jump on the piles of laundry and make more work for me. So usually um, we have a much better laundry method. We recently went to Dutch Wonderland and stayed in a hotel just for one night um, by Dutch Wonderland. And before that we had traveled um, for a Young Living Gold retreat. So I feel like anytime we travel, it just really is, yes, a blessing, but it just throws a wrench in our normal routine. So my laundry game is just on fleek right now. Nothing is, nothing has any kind of method we're basically just doing all the laundry together usually I do like the girls laundry and the boys laundry and just try to split it up because it's hard to like do their sizes and you know kind of go through and separate everything but right now I'm just um, doing a little bit of all of it all the kids stuff and then I do my own laundry and Chris does his own laundry because we know what we want hung and what we want um, dried, but that just is new recently. We both started doing our own laundry, but yeah, that's our laundry story. I know a lot of people will just throw their kids' laundry into baskets for them and not fold, and I just can't do it. Not not right now, at least. Maybe when they're older, I don't know. Maybe when they're older, older they will learn how to fold. Um, Carter and Ella love folding. Um, they're, they're getting really good at it. Tanner has literally no interest, which is fine because he's a kid and he doesn't need to have an interest in folding but the other two enjoy folding so maybe I can get them to fold when do your kids start chores do your kids have chores mine definitely don't lately Carter who is six years old has just been wanting to do stuff he'll be like mom can I take out the trash and I'm like sure um so yeah he's like my big helper So now I'm just putting Ella's clothes away then I'm going to go ahead and switch the laundry so it doesn't stink and then have to get rewashed because that has happened more lately than I'd like to admit. Speaking of big helpers, Ella, Miss Independent, who just turned three years old, um, she wanted to try putting her dress on a hanger, and I was so impressed by her. You did it! Good job! So proud of you.
Okay, so like I mentioned, we still have a lot of laundry to catch up on. You saw I pulled it and put away the girls' clothes. I still have some of the boys' clothes to do um, as far as folding goes, and I need to fold my clothes. But um, I know other moms can relate, but we are gonna go get in the car, get some coffee, then get cleats and pray that some nap in the car because they need it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I hope I can find cleats. I've never gone shopping for little tiny cleats before, so we'll pray. Okay, thank you. Quick update on the cleats. Wow. Quick update on the cleats. We're struggling. <laughs> like Evie's ponytail. <laughs> what happened to good old fashioned sports stores? I don't know. Are you dancing? Dizzy, 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 dizzy. You should go talk. Talk it. Just like your mother. Where should we go? Abby driving? <laughs> yeah. we just, there's one no. place we can't go. <laughs> to the black hole. Target. Why? I don't... I, I, Cause cause I think they said there's a We'd be there yeah. for two days. Hi, <laughs> Tanner's foot. <laughs> so, th in this part of our get it all done, it's basically driving, up, driving around aimlessly. <laughs> and we have soccer practice on Thursday, so pray for us. Alright, you guys, so that was a huge fail. Um, at least I got a Starbucks iced coffee, which gonna be my last time getting it for a while when I start the challenge until my cheat meal. But now I'm gonna clean out the car. I also want, just wanted to mention as we were driving the car in, Chris scratched it um, on the door. But what did you use to get it off? WD-40, why did you yeah. tell more about that? Because I wanted to share this awesome hack. So the whole front of the car on the side was white. Is this our first time like actually pulling it in? Yeah, it, yeah, doesn't, it, fit very it well. doesn't fit very well. But um, we have a giant suburban because we have a large amount of children. So um, Chris used WD-40 to get the paint off the side of the car and it worked. So just a little hack if you ever smash your car into <laughs> the garage uh, door, I guess, in the door. Anyway, I'm gonna clean out the car. First starting off by taking out like just all of the junk that's in there. And also while we were out, the lighting is so weird. So while we were out, Evan needed a diaper change and I'm like, okay, go to get my stuff. All I have is a pull up. So she's now wearing a pull up. Um, it actually doesn't fit that bad. So what I'm saying is that I want to put something in the car besides a diaper bag. It's like a little box full of some diapers and like an extra outfit. I used to have stuff like that in the car, but we've used it up and haven't replaced it. So I'm going to do that too. But first, I'm going to clean out the car and then we're going to go make some dinner because it's getting late. Um, I just feel like this day has been flying by. As like I said, that was a big uh, waste of time. But yeah, let's start cleaning out the car. Start at the driver's side door. So what do we have here? This is the bracelet that we got Chris for Father's Day. It has all the kids' names on it. So cute, but it finally broke. We need to figure out something else to get him because he wore this every day. So we'll throw that away. We also had some uh, trampoline socks in there and a little bit of trash. Okay, so while we're here, I'm gonna clean Evie's mirror. The kids just knock it down, but it's always just like so crusty. So let me know if you guys like like a vlog style like this, get it all done videos, or more just like voiceover. I try to do like a mix, but like, like right now it's okay because you know the kids are inside, but usually it's so hard to be able to talk while I'm recording because the kids are just so loud all the time, as you saw from my car stories. Okay, we good or no? No, we're not. Oh, okay, I got it. We're good, we good. Okay, there's that. Move to the other side of the car. All right, now I'm gonna do the trunk. It's raining outside, my neighbor's probably like, what is this crazy lady doing out there with her tripod? 
All right, it actually isn't that bad. It's just like my carrier, our playpen, a potty. If you don't have a potty in the back of your car, how are you even parenting? I'm not sure. Um, lots of wipes, no diapers, so we need to restock this. I'm gonna vacuum back here. Probably should just like sanitize this a little bit extra. funky. Got some books. Some Crocs. I actually want to try putting their Crocs in the dishwasher. Does anybody follow Babs on um, TikTok or there's another cup back there or Instagram? She's amazing. I think she's called Brunch with Babs. But she said that that was one of her favorite hacks was throwing her Crocs in the dishwasher. So I'm going to try that. Maybe I'll break it for the sixth time. So seekers, fan that I need to charge. Let's see what else we got back here. All right, just some more cups. I did clean up uh, colored pencils and drawing pads, but I'm keeping them back there, so that's something to do. More wipes, what do you know? So I'm gonna put more diapers in here. Shoes that are too small. More wipes. Jeez, I think that's the fourth pack of wipes. Okay. Another croc. A croc without a match. And one ballet slipper. I do. I clean up the car every single time we get out of the car. Like I take a couple of things at least. Toothpaste. You know, for those busy uh, school mornings. That was the one I got for the dentist. Bag. Teether, that needs to be sanitized. The white, hopefully it wasn't used for anything gross. And another pack of wipes, but this one's dry. So that was on the garbage. Some beat up box of tissues I'll keep in here. I'm gonna get in here and vacuum this. And finally, my side, you guys may not believe this, but there is another pack, oh, and another pack of wipes. So what's our total at now? Oh my gosh. Alice sunglasses, I'll leave in there. All right. All right, now just vacuuming out my side of the car again. Just one foot in, in front of the other is like my motto lately because I have so much on my mind that I keep like blanking out like what I'm doing in the middle of doing it. So now, one foot in front of the other. 
You're vacuuming the car. do is just like wipe down just this front right here and then go inside and start dinner and dessert and go from there got a fresh towel so don't worry it's not the same one from the potty <laughs> that'd be pretty foul but let's just wipe this down you saw how dusty it was earlier All right, before I start cooking, I'm going to start making this. Because they need to sit for 45 minutes, so we're going to start with this, and then we're going to cook, and we to show you. I've made this before, and it's delicious. Even the kids love it. So, this is next. But first, but first... Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is just putting a yeast packet into some warm water. I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes. This um, cinnamon bun, it's not really a bun, it was like a muffin, but it was absolutely delicious. It's from, um, I think it's called Mom's Place, a gluten-free place you can order online. They literally have like everything and her prices are amazing. I wanna say that bag of the cinnamon roll mix was like six dollars and plus shipping but still you have to check it out so i'm just mixing together some brown sugar and butter and that's going to be like our topping that we're going to mix through the muffins and we're just going to mix our wet ingredients together and let that go for a little while i think i need it like three minutes or so and then we'll add the rest of the stuff but while that's mixing i'm going to start on my hello fresh meal all right so while all that stuff is mixing i'm going to start Getting our ingredients out of HelloFresh. I love this because everything is pre-portioned in here. I don't even have to think about it. And it's the best. And I've had this one before. It's so delicious. This is the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. So first I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Like I said, we just love it. There's so much to choose from. You can enjoy a variety, simplicity, and the ease of making HelloFresh part of our back to school routine which is so true, um, you know, getting back to school, I just forgot like what a hassle it was. We also, for the first time, have all of our kids starting dance and soccer. So yeah, it definitely helps a ton. They even offer um, quick meal options like 20 minute dinners or oven ready pizzas. Their recipes are so delicious. They offer so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of the recipe rut, which, you know, is a real thing like I feel like we were having the same thing all the time that's why I love HelloFresh because you don't even have to think about it just pick what meals you want and get it delivered to your door you save time and stress effortlessly they cut out the stressful meal planning like I said and the prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options 
I am pausing on the HelloFresh because of the cinnamon buns were done mixing. I needed to add in that um, yeast mixture and let that mix. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put them into some muffin tins. Halfway through, I'm gonna add that, um, what was it, brown sugar and butter, and then add some more batter on top, and then toss those in the oven, and then we'll get back to our HelloFresh meal. So while this finishes mixing, I just wanna finish telling you about HelloFresh and give you an amazing discount code, but Another thing that I really love about HelloFresh is that they can help you eat more sustainably. They have pre-portioned ingredients, as you saw, which means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. So be sure to check them out. I'm gonna have everything linked down in my description box below um, as well as so I'll put a little thing on screen here. But all you need to do is use code BEASTINS14 to get 14 free meals. So simple and delicious. I know you'll love them. I'm gonna sh like kind of show you me cooking it throughout the rest of this video as soon as we're done with our cinnamon buns here. But thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So the reason I'm kind of doing the cinnamon buns simultaneously is because you need to let them sit for 45 minutes. So I wanted to have that sitting before I started cooking our dinner so that we can have dessert as soon as our dinner is over. So back to our meal while that sits for 45 minutes. I just washed all of our produce. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the carrots, cut up some mushrooms, some potatoes, and then we'll start on our chicken. So the carrots I'm just roasting on 425 degrees. I'm also just throwing them across the island apparently um, with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And I think I did it for around 20 minutes or so. All right, so we have the carrots in the oven. We have our um, potatoes boiling for our smashed potatoes because I like to leave the skins on them um, and make them like a smashed version rather than just purely mashed potatoes. Um, so now we're cutting out mushrooms. Who here likes mushrooms and who here does not because I feel like I'm the only one who truly likes mushrooms. Chris just can't do the texture, he said. I also like them raw too, they're very good. So. I'm cutting up some scallions now, putting some olive oil in our pan, getting it nice and hot. And then we're gonna add our chicken and we're just gonna add some salt and pepper to each side. Who else does this? I'm always doing five million things at once. So while the chicken is browning on each side, I'm going to load the dishwasher because my goal in life is always to have like the downstairs as cleaned up as possible before I do our bath and bedtime routine because I'm just exhausted by the time I put the kids down. I want to do absolutely nothing. So that is my goal. I'm gonna swear I'm just like hustling to get everything ready um, so that I don't have to do much after I get the kids to sleep. All right, so now that our potatoes are done, I'm adding in some sour cream and some butter and just going to go ahead and smash them up. Of course, we're gonna add some salt and pepper. So we're using that same pan. I did have to rinse it out a little bit just cause it got like a little bit too brown on the bottom. 
Um, and we're just using some olive oil, we're going to saute our mushrooms and some of the whites of our scallions. And this doesn't take very long, that's why I do it last because the mushrooms cook up very quickly. Now that our mushrooms are a little bit more tender, we are putting in the chicken stock concentrate along with some water. We're gonna let this sauce thicken, and while that's happening, I'm going to start on our frosting for our cinnamon buns, which is one of the best parts. So you just need some butter. Um, this, I feel like butter is like the theme of our, you know, of our dessert and dinner tonight, but I need some butter, powdered sugar, and some vanilla extract, and that is it. We're mixing it real good. Um, we'll come back to that. I have it sitting right now um, because now that the sauce is thickened a little bit, we're adding some sour cream and you guessed it, butter, letting it, um, you know, kind of just incorporate and then let it sit a little bit longer. I don't want to see the shaking. Oh no. Like I'm sudden, but I'm steady. Oh no. And they tell me to move on. So I added our chicken back in. I'm letting that sit for a little bit. Our cinnamon buns, our cinnamon muffins, whatever you want to call them, are done. They smell amazing. As I talked about previously, we started the fitness challenge the day after filming this, so I was really just trying to get it in. I think I might have had four cinnamon buns. But yeah, now I'm just pleading on my favorite platter. I always get questions about our platter. And for those of you who thought that it's like quiet when I'm cooking, that I just wanted to show you that um, the kids are dancing to um, the, what's it called, the chicken wing song. Oh my gosh, they're obsessed with it. You have to check it out, it's hilarious. It's actually a pretty good beat on there. Um, but I wanted to just throw that in there because it looks like I'm just like cooking so peacefully. But that's the beauty of voiceovers. And yeah, so anyway, back to the platter. It brings me joy, it's from TJ Maxx, it was like 10 bucks. I'm putting all the mushrooms and the sauce on the side because children, uh, but again, don't forget to check out HelloFresh. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code BEASTINS14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. I know you will love them. It is such a blessing in our lives. There's so many times where I just have so much on my plate, so many things to do that the literal last thing I feel like doing is meal planning. So it is so nice. Plus you can skip a week. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so if you're ever not home, you can totally skip a week, but can we just admire these cinnamon buns? Oh my gosh. I'm doing this voiceover after a day of doing the new meal plan, so everything's looking real good right now. Thank you for our food. And the cinnamon buns. And the cinnamon buns. All right, you guys, so it is 11.05. Um, dinner was delicious, by the way, but then we had to get the kids down and all of that, and then I started editing this video. And I realized that it is already like over a half an hour long. So I'm just going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it gave you some motivation, even though it was a much more relaxed style, get it all done. Let me know if you like this style down below. I'll still continue to do like a little bit of both. And also don't forget to check out HelloFresh. All you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use code BEASTINS14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. All right, thanks guys. And I will see you in the next one.